What happens when the power goes out at home? Usually it comes back on within a few minutes, but sometimes that's not the case. In addition to emergency situations, the Anchor Solix F3800 looks great for bringing power with you when you need power for something larger, such as an outdoor event at a park or a location with no power, maybe camping for a week in an RV instead of a noisy generator. Now I've been reading up on this Anchor Solix F3800. It's launching via Kickstarter and being from a well-known and trusted brand, looks to be really good. What kind of things can it do, you might ask? Think of it as a phone charging brick, but for your entire house. First and foremost, the Anchor Solids is focused on providing power for your whole home. This can be useful in power outage situations or emergencies. Just like that time a few years ago, when I took off on a cruise with my family in the middle of winter. And just before the ship left Florida, my friends back in Michigan called asking if they could stay at my house because a massive winter storm had knocked out power for most of the city. The power was out for the majority of the week. It was a huge mess. Lesson learned. Unless you know you'll be gone on a cruise ship when disaster strikes, be ready with a home power station. Smash that like button right now for good luck to be on vacation when disaster strikes rather than being at home. But emergencies aren't the only reason this Anchor Solix is useful. There are endless reasons to have a power station with this much electrical power available. We'll explore some of those later. But first, let's take a closer look at what this offers. It's quiet, has loads of outlets and connections, including dual voltage output, it has a massive capacity for a portable power station. 3.8 kilowatts and it's expandable. More on that in a moment. It can even charge an electric vehicle, which I'm really excited to try out. This thing looks to have some impressive capabilities, which is not a surprise coming from Anchor. Chances are you already have Anchor products. They're a trusted brand. In fact, just yesterday I told a friend I was working on a sponsored video from Anchor and the very first thing out of his mouth was, I love Anchor and use so many of their products. I'd like to thank Anchor Solix for the opportunity to work with them on this video. So I'm excited about the upcoming Anchor Solix home power system. It looks like Anchor took their experience with power bricks and turned it into a massive power bank for an entire house. Plus, there are so many other helpful uses that we'll explore later. Anchor Solix has a Kickstarter running on the Anchor Solix F3800 right now. Check out that Kickstarter campaign to secure super early bird pricing at 35% off. I love a good deal and you can't beat that. At least, not without going to jail. To secure those savings, click the link to the Kickstarter in the video description below. Now, what do I mean when I say it will provide emergency backup power for your home? This thing provides 6,000 to 12,000 watts of power so you can run a whole variety of appliances at both 120 and 240 volts simultaneously. You might ask, what are watts? Well, it's simple. You can calculate the power measured in watts with some simple math. Multiply voltage by current or amperage. You'll find that on the nameplate of appliances. You can run in the refrigerator, TV, washing machine, dryer, microwave, air conditioner, CPAP machine, computers, and more. All sorts of things at the same time. The F3800 is so much nicer than a gas generator. Let me tell you why. First, no combustion engine means it's silent, no fumes or exhaust. Plus, there's minimal maintenance because it doesn't have an engine. Now you might wonder, what about for longer power outages? Isn't it going to run out of power? Well, that's where the ability to connect solar panels has you covered for recharging it. Those can be portable solar panels or the ones on your roof. And of course, you can keep it fully charged from the electrical grid. More on solar charging in a minute. To use it to power your home first, there are a couple options. First, hiring an electrician to install a transfer switch, which is an easy install for a single electrician in a few hours. Now, what's a transfer switch, you might ask? It's like unplugging your phone from a power outlet and plugging it back into a power bank to keep the charge flowing. The transfer switch basically unplugs your house from the electrical utility grid and, and connects it to receive power from the anchor solar instead by simply turning a switch. Another convenient way to connect it to your home is through an inlet box. An inlet box is designed so you can easily plug in a gas generator for emergency home power needs. So if you already have an inlet box, guess what? You're good to go. You can plug the F3800 directly into it. No more noisy, smelly gas generator with this silent, simple power station. And this brings peace of mind. This has a massive capacity at 3.8 kilowatt hours, plus it's expandable. More on that later. Let's explore some of those other ways this Anchor Solix F3800 can be helpful. What if you have an electric vehicle? Well, guess what? It has an easy connection for an electrical charge. Connect your EV charging cable directly into it to charge your vehicle batteries. No special grounding accessories required. Now one note, don't think of it as taking your vehicle from empty to a full charge. It's more like getting a jump start for your EV. Enough power to drive and get to a charger to fully top it off. That reminds me, seven years ago, I made a video about an Anchor car jump starter. I never thought I'd be making a video about an Anchor Solix. It can be a jump starter for an electric vehicle or for your entire house. And how about for camping, especially if you're an RVer? How do you power that rig? A generator is typical. Well, guess what? Instead of a noisy generator for your RV, you can replace it with this portable power station. It includes a built-in RV port to run all your appliances while camping. With the 240 output voltage and the built-in NEMA 1450 and L1430 ports, 
it'll be perfect for your RV. No noise and no worries. Just charge it up before hitting the road and you'll have plenty of power on your vacation. It's also great for longer off-grid camping trips where you need the convenience of power. In fact, I work with a church youth group and this opens up opportunities for a week-long summer camp. Another great way to use this is with outdoor events like sports activities, parties, large group gatherings where you need power for sound system, lights, and whatever else is needed to keep the fun going. Just the other day, I saw a bounce house party in the park. They were trying to hide the noisy generator behind the bathroom. Well, guess what? You can hardly hear anything while they found at the piano earlier. You can still hear the generator a quarter mile away, much less be able to talk to one another standing near it. Food truck operators, you know who you are. Don't have a noisy generator on the back of your food truck. Nobody's gonna hear from him. Having a generator going keeps your restaurant on wheels running, but keep it quiet by using an Anchor Solex F3800 for all your power needs. How about construction? Running air compressors, power tools, charging batteries on a job site can all be done by having an Anchor Solex in the back of your truck or trailer. Maybe you're involved in a farmer's market, a street fair, or a festival. Do you have a booth somewhere? What could you do if you were guaranteed to have power? Think of the opportunities it opens up. Run a TV monitor, lighting, other electronics to help bring in customers. A few years ago, I was working a booth at the Mint Festival in St. John's, Michigan. And guess what? We needed power. It was a pain to find an electrical outlet that wasn't being used power up the computer. Where would a portable power station be helpful in your life? Drop a comment below with your ideas. There are an endless number of use cases. Now what about transporting this F3800? Well, it's notable that as a whole home battery system, it's a bit heavy at about 100 pounds. But Anchor Solix took that into consideration, making it easy to move with a pull-out handle and four wheels. Take it wherever it's needed. If you need to charge the EV or the RV, wheel it right over. This is designed to be travel friendly. Move it into a trailer or a truck, to take it to activities or events where a portable power station is a necessity. Just last week, I was at my daughter's high school marching band competition and saw groups running a generator for power. How convenient it would be to have a silent, portable power station instead of a noisy generator. Let's take a closer look at the power setup. The website documentation shows this. It has 14 different ports you can use to plug in electronics and appliances. There are six standard 120 volt, 20 amp outlets, just like your home walls have. It's got one 240 volt, 30 amp receptacle, and another 240 volt 50 amp outlet. For charging in smaller devices, you've got three USB-C and two USB-A ports. Plus, there's even a car DC or cigarette adapter. I don't know how many people still use those, but it's nice to have it if you need it. Now, if you may wonder, how long does it take to charge this massive portable power station? Well, it's fast charging in about two hours from solar panels or a wall outlet. And it has a variety of input ports to make it convenient to charge your F3800 from whatever power source you have whether that be the electrical grid or solar panels. Now, speaking of solar, how about using it with your home solar system? Well, guess what? This can be set up to manage your home solar energy cycle. Charge this power station up in the day, use it to power your house at night. How cool is that? One thing that will be really amazing is if the Anchor Solar system is smart enough to help people who live in places with daily variable power billing, where power costs less during low usage times and more when the electrical grid has high demand. Wouldn't it be awesome to set it up with the app so it charged the battery at lower rate times and then provides power to the house to avoid paying peak power rates? This, of course, will require some smarts and appropriate setup of the electrical systems. There's an app to monitor and run the Anchor Solar, so I anticipate it will have some intelligence. Speaking of powering a home, with the ability to charge from solar panels and power a house from the Anchor Solar power station, that opens up the door for an off-grid home. Being completely off-grid is very realistic with solar panels and the F3800 to provide power for the entire house both day and night. And once more, it's designed for 10 years of daily use with intelligence for charge cycles, temperature controls, and it's built from industrial grade electronics. Now this Anchor Solex has a huge battery expansion available, and it's easy to add expansion batteries, up to six of them per Anchor Solex F3800 unit. It expands from the base unit with 3.8 kilowatt hours to over 26 kilowatt hours with six expansion packs. Or you can connect two F3800 units, plus the expansion packs, and get nearly 54 kilowatt hours of power. Now what does this really mean for your home? The 3.8 kilowatt unit will power a home for about a day. Add in the six expansion batteries and it's sized to power a home for about a week. And if you double up the system, plan on two whole weeks of power for your home. So I'm excited to get my hands on one of these Anchor Solix F3800 power stations. Click the link below for the Kickstarter campaign to secure super early bird pricing at 35% off. Instead of a gas generator, this Anchor Solix home power system provides a quiet, and massive power reserve for your home, RV, or any other place you need power when you can't plug in. You can power your entire home conveniently and silently, connecting directly into an inlet box, just like a noisy generator would. I'm excited to get my hands on one of these Anchor Solix F3800 portable power stations. Be sure you subscribe to see my hands-on video review coming soon.